Uh, first one is, uh, what is actually your role in this DBA program? I am one of the tutors, and I'm also on the steering committee. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, looking overall at the development of the DBA. Okay. Um, when you look back a uh, long time ago, mm -hmm. many years ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> what actually was the kind of turning point that made you decide to join this kind of action learning DBA program well, as a tutor and part of the steering committee? Well, at the time when the program began, it was the, the whole idea of running a DBA using action learning principles with action learning deeply embedded. That was very, very attractive, both to me although I'm not an action learning specialist, and also to uh, the university at the time. So it was just a deeply attractive way of doing a DBA. Okay, uh, and the university, you mean the Sheffield Hallam? I mean Sheffield Hallam yeah. University. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what do you personally get from being, a, being at this a DBA programme? Well, partly... Over the years, I've got lots and lots of learning about action learning itself and mm -hmm. how action learning really, really works very beneficially for the students. But also, it's been really interesting to meet a, a wide range of students, particularly from sub-Saharan mm -hmm. sub continent and, and work with them on their DBA developments. So, two things then, the programme itself and the <coughs> fascinating mix of students mm -hmm. on the course. Um, well, the, the whole kind of DBA staff and even students is mm. quite an international. So what do you kind of consider attractive in working in such an international environment? I think it's particularly significant in terms of that the students actually bring a much wider range of reference and interest and commitment than a more homogenous groups of students do and particularly i suppose in at least in some of the cohorts the real passion for development of their own nation or even subcontinent continent mm -hmm. that particularly the African students bring a real commitment to national development. Oh, okay. uh, I have a question. How do you feel about cooperation with DC Business School? Well, BSN is really easy to work with. It's, yeah, it's not a, I don't feel there's any issues. I feel good about it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Now we're speaking about BSN. Uh, okay, uh, well, I was a bit more uh, specific about DC Business School, that means Slava, myself, Jana, and whoever, well, Czech Republic. Oh, I see that part of it yeah. as being. Well, of course, I've worked with Slava. Yeah, from the since beginning. the beginning. Yeah. I've worked with you f yeah. for a number of years now, so I just find that's a really easy relationship. Mm -hmm. And. To me, I mean, possibly from where I come from, I don't really make much of a detachment between TC and BSN. Yeah, OK. Because they work cl so closely together mm -hmm. anyway. So it, it's, I don't really regard TC as a very distinctive entity. OK. In that way. I just see it as an integrated... Yeah. I see TC as being so well integrated with BSN on this uh -huh. programme. Yeah, okay. That, it, that it's, it's not really a separate issue for me. Great. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I didn't have a question more about the doctor, doctorate programs. Um, as such, well, why should a manager, that means as a student, consider joining a doctorate program? Because I think that a core part of a, a senior manager's work is their ability to reflect and understand and be able to research 
in their own field or area or organisation. Uh, and I think these are fundamental activities mm -hmm. that, that particularly, well, managers at any level really need to be able to undertake. And I just see the DBA as a really significant development of the MBA. Okay. It's an extension of, continuation of, and a, a deeper understanding of issues mm -hmm. than perhaps on the MBA. Okay, uh, well, then I have a question. Why DBA and not PhD? Oh, I think there are two, reason, two main reasons. One is that the DBA is a very rich cohort experience, mm -hmm. whereas the PhD is a lonely existence. Oh, okay. So that's the first reason. And then I think the second reason is because the emphasis on a DBA is on this idea of contribution to management practice or professional mm -hmm. practice rather than a contribution to knowledge as such. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a really useful differentiator. I mean, DBA students are also making a contribution to knowledge. But their, their key contribution is to, is to their profession mm -hmm. or to management or to leadership or whatever. Okay. Um, and last question. Um, DBA programs are quite a novelty. Yes. Uh, what is your best guess about the future of these kind of doctorate programs? Well, I know it's just guess. But, uh, My guess is that DBAs will develop. I think that the issue for many European countries, mainland European countries, is that the DBA could become an acknowledged part of their university mm -hmm. portfolios. And I think there's still a blockage in many mainland European yeah. countries about academic institutions about the nature of the DBA yeah. but it would be very interesting if like the MBA many years ago yeah. uh, mainland European universities took on board the DBA mm. okay. so I think that the, my answer is that there is a future for the DBA but it does need more universities in mainland Europe mm -hmm. to understand them and be interested in them. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And I try to want to say mainland Europe. Mainland